what actually is dopamine? Well, dopamine, along with serotonin, are often known as the happiness or reward hormones. This is because they're mainly known as neurotransmitters, or a chemical which is released in the nerve cells of the brain and sends signals to other nerve cells. Dopamine is the primary transmitter only actually in a very few nerves in the brain, somewhere around about half of 1% of all the neurons in the brain. These neurons are also confined to very few areas within the brain, including the ventral tegmental area, an area which is in the middle of the brain which relates to motivation and the ability to make decisions. It's this area where the right actions stimulate the release of dopamine as a transmitter then signal another neuron which makes you feel happy. Increased levels of dopamine at the end of a task and you'll try harder to achieve more difficult goals to feel greater satisfaction once those goals have been completed. However, dopamine transmitters in the brain can also affect such diverse medical conditions as restless leg syndrome and Parkinson's disease. Because some of the dopamine-based nerve cells also seem to be more vulnerable to damage and yet are also responsible for controlling both learning new motor skills and controlling those motor skills, keeping healthy, active and learning new skills may also play a significant role in keeping the dopamine nerve cells themselves healthy and active. Dopamine is also found in other places in the human body other than just the nervous system. It has significant effects on the body and these are all related to the circulation system as dopamine travels around in the blood. Some dopamine is released by the immune system cells. It may go some way to explain why some people find some kind of buzz when they self-harm. However, the action of the immune system, if not working correctly, may also cause the immune system to attack dopamine-releasing nerve cells, possibly resulting in Parkinson's disease. But conclusive proof of this has yet to be established. Dopamine is also produced by the kidneys, and if the kidneys are not producing enough dopamine, this can lead to high blood pressure. This lack of production is normally genetic and can be one of the factors why people inherit high blood pressure. Dopamine is also involved in the pancreas and likely regulates the speed which food is digested. High levels of dopamine in the body system may also reduce feelings of pain but they may also cause more vomiting and sickness. For those of you wondering why the pharmaceutical industry doesn't produce some form of dopamine that people can take to feel good, the bad news is that dopamine can be toxic in relatively small amounts. Just a fraction of a gram can kill. So for now, you'll have to make do with the levels that your body produces naturally.